what the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me with his blood. What the Lord has done. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot, I, I cannot, cannot tell it all. Sing it louder. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot I tell it all. He saved me. He saved me. I washed me. And washed me. So I can shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I can show. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody is in this meeting, or you are somewhere watching or hearing this. The Lord is saying that I should tell you that particular hand that hits from you, that is a form of devourer. The power of that hand in your life will paralyze in the name of Jesus. Amen. I wish that he may come louder. I pray that the right of their hand in your life, I don't know for how long that hand has been worrying you, I've been eating from you and go scot free. The right of their hand in your life, I command, let their right paralyze in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is this person that will shout this louder, he may? I don't know for how long. That hand has been hitting from you. The hand is from your marriage and make you not to have marital stability. That hand is from your business. And you did not have a reason to gather when you went. He's always scattering. The hand is from your brain and you don't have any way to reason aright. That hand is from your career. And when you present your project to people, they will look at you as something is wrong with you. As a matter of fact, it has been so difficult for you to get the best of career. I pray in the name of Jesus so you will know how to shout. That hand that is hitting from you, let their hands die. Amen. Oh, maybe you don't understand. I didn't plan for this. I got to know this when I came up here. As I claim this place, this is when God showed me this. So you are going to declare that every power of ant, every power of ant, eating from me, eating from me. Can you shout it loud and clear? Every power of ant, uh -huh. eating from me. Can you shout it very loud? Say your time is up. Say what are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. As I'm clapping my hands. Die. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let it die in the name of Jesus. Let it die in the name of Jesus. Say hey man. Can your amen be louder? Hey. Man. I pray for that person because you pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Power of that evil hand eating from you. I pray 
they will lose their interest in the name of Jesus. Amen. I wonder a man to be roaring. I pray in the name of Jesus. The right of their heart are hands over your life. I prophesy. Let the right of their hands over your life paralyze in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can your amen be louder? Amen. There is a particular person here. When I was sitting there, the Lord show your face to me. That this particular old woman that follow you anywhere you go. And as a matter of fact, in your dream or your revelation, you have been seeing this old woman regularly. But I pray if you can shout out amen. God will turn back the interest of that old woman from you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Here it is. The Lord said to me, that happened to be one of the ancient women that have been dealing with women in your family. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The interest of that woman over your life. I want your amen to be a shouting amen. Let that interest pass. Let that interest pass. Let that interest pass. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I'm going to declare in the order of today's topic says. Covenant of Freedom and Liberty, part two. But before I go on, I want to appreciate everyone in this meeting and people watching online on YouTube, on Facebook. I pray that God Almighty will set your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare that the help of God will touch your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that God Almighty will do your life better in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I enter into the season of my freedom and liberty. In the name of Jesus, say by the power of the Holy Ghost, say I enter into my season of freedom and liberty. Shout out to him. Amen. Do you know there is a way people could be in bondage and still be rejoicing in bondage? Sit down and conserve energy. There are a lot of people that should enjoy what they have been working for. But it has been a problem for them to enjoy it. Instead of enjoying it, they are enduring it. And the Lord wants to give you and make you to enter into that covenant of freedom. Here it is. If God is not setting you free, there is no way you can be free. There are a lot of things you have worked for that's supposed to give you happiness. A lot of things you have worked for that's supposed to give you comfort. A lot of things you have worked for that's supposed to give you happiness. But because you don't really know what is happening, you are entering into that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. The book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. We are going to be touching some area today that God will use to say to you, because it's a preparation for Nugata. Hallelujah. If you want to shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you see that scripture very well? Then you will declare it. I want your voice to be louder as you declare that. Want to go, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free. And not entangle again with what? The yoke of bondage. Don't be a tango with the yoke of bondage. I see somebody moving from the place of, from liberated place. Somebody is moving out of a place where devil has knocked you down. Somebody is moving of this place to a liberated place in the name of Jesus. You are moving from depth. You are moving from fear. Amen. You are moving from spiritual, physical, and internal damage. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are moving from that long term issue that I've said too long in you. Amen. You have been asking yourself, even asking your God, when will this issue come to an end? But the Lord is saying, you are moving from that place. 
So I don't know that person that your amen will be louder. From that long term issue, you are moving out in the name of Jesus. I said you are moving out in the name of Jesus. You are moving out of failure. Ha, any kind of failure, either failure in marriage, in that failure in life, in that failure in business, in that failure in every way that you want to accelerate. I said you are moving out of that failure in the name of Jesus. Somebody that the amen will be louder. You are moving out of lack and agony in the name of Jesus. You are moving out of setback in the name of Jesus. Somebody that your amen will be louder. You are moving out of loneliness in the name of Jesus. The, man, the, man, the Lord demand that I should ask somebody here. For how many times have you tried and it does not work? Please answer that question in your heart. You have tried to make things work, but it's not working. This is the question the Lord asked me to ask. And the Lord said to me, try it this time. We bring the best result and good news for you in the name of Jesus. That this question the Lord asked me to ask you. Have you tried something before and it does not yield a good result? Have you worked harder and no testimony to back it up? Have you obeyed the instruction given to you by God? And you are still waiting for a particular reward. The Lord is saying, it shall turn to praise in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, it shall turn to praise in the name of Jesus. Hear this. The Lord said to me, what makes a lot of things not to work right in you is because of the yoke of bondage. But because you are entering into the covenant of freedom, and you are entering into the covenant of liberty. So I command in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. Militating against your life. I declare that the time is up. Let your hand come in the name of Jesus. Can you declare. Say every yoke of bondage. Can that person that God will attend to suddenly shout it. Militating against my life. Say your time is up. Say, what are you waiting for? Come to Allah. Shout out that hey, man. I declare today that inherited bondage that is being fixed to anyone that will become great in your generation. I declare from today that you are living above that bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is called a barrier breaker. Do you believe that? His intention is to break every yoke of barrier in people's life. Here. There is somebody here that must put down the yoke of unprofitable delay that is upon your head. But your aggressive amen to this declaration will make it work. And it's going to stand as a stamp to that. So I declare that ancient yoke, an age barrier, think of it. Age barrier is a barrier that has stayed too long in your life. On the life of people around you. That ancient yoke and age barrier. People are doing well in your family, but you are the only one that you are not doing well. I pray in the name of Jesus. That the one that is programmed to cross your path. At any level you want to get to. I pray. Oh, you are breaking the name of Jesus. I said, break in the name of Jesus. Job chapter 5 verse 13. The book of Job chapter 13, 5 verse 13 says, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. To that person that will shout, without considering how fashionable you are. I declare according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7. That says, now the Lord is a spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I pray in the name of Jesus. Receive your liberty in the name of Jesus. Your marital liberty. Say, I receive it. Can you shout it very loud? 
Your business liberty. I want your amen to be a shouting amen now. Now, let your I receive it be a very loud one. Your marital liberty. Your career liberty. Your academic liberty. Your ministerial liberty. That liberty that is attached to your life, livelihood. Now, liberty to start and finish where? Liberty to start doing new things. Liberty to conceive new ideas. Liberty to carry your own children. Liberty for your fruitfulness. Liberty to get a new job. Liberty that will lift you to place of your expectation. Can you say, I receive all in the name of Jesus? Shout louder, him, eh? Somebody is in this meeting, the Lord will say, your expectation shall not be cut off. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18 says, Therefore surely there is an end. And an expectation, your expectation, what do you desire? That you are saying before the end of this year that God must do it for you. The Lord is saying that your expectation will not be cut off. Let me say this. One of my daughters and the Lord, some times ago in a service as this, the Lord said to me to tell somebody that by this time, is going to do something better in that person. And you know what happened? No, the Lord said by December, before the December come to a close. On December 31st, she was called upon to come and start a job. So that is our expectation. I don't know is here watching or you are listening to this. Your expectation for this year 2017 shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. I say your expectation shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. Each time you look at that condition in you, your question is, Lord, when will you bring your word to pass on this matter? It's time you look at it. Who is that person here? The Lord is saying, it will fulfill his word in your life in the name of Jesus. And the answer to that is your expectation will not be cut off. To somebody here, the Lord said to me that your season of celebration starts now. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. That if you believe you're that person, I claim it first. I have to tax myself to make this proclamation. I have to tax myself over something. So, if I prophesy, then you declare it. You say amen to that. The Lord is saying, your season of celebration starts now. Amen. Okay, can you announce to like seven persons, say, in case you don't understand, say, my season of celebration starts now. Count them, there are seven. Shout amen. amen. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 6 to 8 says. Isaiah 25 verse 6 to 8 says. In the book, I'll be reading from NLT. Okay, let me read NIV. It says, on this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food. Amen. You know, there are some people that hate junks. Do you believe that? And there are some people that eat rich food. So the food that God is going to give for you for the season of your celebration is a rich food. Amen. Can you hear me be louder? Amen. It says it's going to do it for all people. Can we see it on the media? A banquet of aged wine. The best of meat and the finest of wines. So in your season of celebration, this is what God will do for you. And he say, on this mountain, it will destroy the straw that enforce all people. The straw that enfold all people. The straw that is talking about happened to be 
the garment they used to cover dead people. So they use it to cover the lives and the destiny of people. They are not dead. But their situation is as that of dead people. Says, the sheet that covered her nation, it will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away tears from all faces. I believe you shout amen to that. It will remove his people disgrace from all the earth. The Lord has spoken it. Can you hear me be louder? Can you hear me be louder? I don't know whosoever you are here, you have been disgraced for many times. The Lord is bringing you out in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord sent me to tell somebody, I'm just here to declare. That's what I'm here to do today. The Lord said to me, that I will deliver you from every form of trouble and distresses. Psalm 107 verse 6. Psalm 107 verse 6 says, Then the Lord cried, then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of their distresses. Hear this. The Lord said to me, some people are here. You thought their marriage will do it. But marital happiness is not released for you. You have been thinking that if I marry, I will live happily. But when you get to the place of marriage, you discover that marriage is not working. You thought that education will solve the generational problem. But educational value is far away from you. Number three. You thought that by traveling abroad, we give you the best desire. The land is like a cost place for you. Even other people are celebrating while you are salivating. But eventually you are watching me anywhere you are in the world. You have been thinking if you travel, that is when the happiness will come. People there are celebrating, but you are just salivating for them. Number four, you run for trouble. But little you know that you are running back into the higher trouble, the highest form of trouble. The comforter that should be of help to you and to your soul are the one afflicting your soul. Number six, light that should laugh with you is now laughing at you. Hear this, the good news is this. Lord is saying, as you are leaving this place today, it will deliver you from trouble. I don't know that person that your amen will be louder seven times. As as you are living here today, God will deliver you from trouble. Amen. 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 I declare in the name of Jesus, every imposed trouble that is configured on your part, I pray that imposed trouble will catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Decided to superimpose trouble into the life of Mordecai. But Mordecai's desperation for change saved him. If he had received the cloth from Esther, Paraventure, his life would just be lived to be just in, in, in a way that does not fashion well. But he said, I will not receive this cloth. You know what? He abandoned the cloth and received garment. So I pray. That imposed bondage, imposed problem, configured against your life and against my life. I pray in the name of Jesus, if you can shout, let that imposed bondage and problem vanish in the name of Jesus. I want to tell you that a man with a desperate mind will get the best of life. I pray for somebody here. Order of trouble. Fighting your life. I command that trouble to frustrate in the name of Jesus. When I declare it, you will turn into prayer. Is that okay? As I see order of life, order of battle, or trouble fighting your life, that the time is up. Die of frustrate in the name of Jesus. Then you declare. Say, order of battles. Fighting my life. Frustrate in the name of Jesus. So, this is the way you are going to say. Say, order of battles. Can you shout it very loud? 
and trouble fighting my life. Say, your time is up. Frustrate in the name of Jesus. So when I declare that is the way you are going to do that, when you say amen, then you declare what I've said. I pray. Tower of trouble. Built against your rising. Be put down in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer now. You are going to say tower of trouble. Built against my rising. Put down in the name of Jesus. This is the way the Lord said we should do it. Is that clear? Then you will shout, you will turn into a shouting prayer. Number three. Seed of trouble. I want you to take note of that. Okay, you will interpret after me. Seed of trouble. Some before your arrival into your family. That is set to fight any glorious destiny in your generation. I command in the name of Jesus. Let that seed die. Turn it to prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer against that seed of trouble. Say hey amen. Now I want to declare this. Every care you have received, every cares. When people care for you, is that okay? There are lots of people, people that care for them during their delivery happen to be the one fighting their children and the one fighting them. They took their blood and they used it against them and against their child. So you are going to declare. Say every cares that I've received. Standing as a token to cause trouble for my life. Say, I am moving out. In the name of Jesus. Say, that evil cares over my life. As I'm clapping my hands. Oh, yeah, break by fire. Yeah, break by fire. Yeah, break by fire. Oh, yeah, oh, aha. You better shout it very loud. Let it break in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, let it break. Break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. In the name of Jesus, break, 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 that garment of trouble will catch fire. Amen. Turn it to prayer with a louder voice. Say, garment of trouble. Show for me. Say, what are you waiting for? As I'm clapping my hands. Oh, yeah, catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, oh, catch fire now. 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 You better shout it. I like the way that woman is praying. I like the way you're praying. Let everyone pray. Uh -huh. Media pray also. Uh -huh. Say amen. Please, I want you to write this after me. Say agent of trouble. Agent of trouble. That is used as a monitoring spirit to watch my lifting for termination. Say what are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus, I command. Be arrested. Shout out to him, eh? Amen. Psalm 106, verse 44. Psalm 106, verse 44 says, Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry. You have been crying? God will regard that affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord asked me to tell somebody, we have short time to live here and we go. Say, your sorrow will suddenly fade away. Yeah. What is that thing that is called sorrow in your life? You have tried all manner of business, but it's not working for you. And the Lord is saying, it will suddenly fade away. So, I pray in the name of Jesus, every form of sorrow in your life will fade away in the name of Jesus. 
Psalm 107 verse 13 to 14 says. Psalm 107 verse 13 to 14 says. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and save them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their band sunder. I pray, I declare in the name of Jesus concerning you. I pray by the power of the Almighty God because you are here. That mature problem and premature problem that is growing with you as you are growing in life. Let the right over your life with the collective sorrow that is throbbing your life. We forever banish in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cause whosoever that stand to service any form of sorrow in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. That principal sorrow following to act to defeat you at the edge of your breakthrough. I pray in the name of Jesus they are dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daily, weekly, yearly, and seasonal sorrow. Standing at the order of your life. I command today let them come to another in the name of Jesus. That useful and usual wind of sorrow. It's useful to the people that are attacking you. And it's a usual thing they do over your life. I pray in the name of Jesus. That one that is used to configure at the entrance of your joy. I command their right over your life to paralyze in the name of Jesus. To somebody that will shout out amen. The Lord is saying that... It will pay for your wasted years. Oh my God. Can you shout it? Say my God will pay for my wasted years. Joy chapter 2. 25 and 26. Because what the Lord is saying. No matter how many years you are in bondage. Or you have been wasting away. There is nothing you can do. Joy chapter 2. 25 to 26 says. And I will restore to you. The year that the locusts had eaten the cacaworm and the caterpillar and the power my great army which I send among you. The next one, verse 26 says, And you shall eat in plenty. Amen. Can you hear me be louder? Amen. Eating in plenty is beyond Christmas chicken. Is that okay? It's beyond Christmas rice. So when the Lord is saying you will eat in plenty, hear what next? And be satisfied. Amen. And praise the name of your God that has done what draws lay with you. And he said, my people shall never be ashamed. Amen. To somebody that will shout amen, before the end of this year, you will have a strong reason to say thank you, Jesus. I say, you will have a strong reason to say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Somebody is here, the Lord is saying, I will give you rest. Amen. Concerning that eighth matter, the Lord is saying, I will give you rest. Amen. Concerning that promotion issue, or pro promotional issue, the Lord is saying, I will give you rest. Amen. Concerning your document in that place abroad, the Lord is saying, I will give you rest. Amen. Concerning the cross Christian center property, the Lord is saying, I will give you rest. Amen. Concerning your business, the Lord is saying, I will give you rest. Amen. Don't forget that it is our month of what? Amen. Praise and laughter. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 3. So when the Lord is saying we give you rest, the next thing that follows is praise and laughter. The God gave Joshua to rest and quiet quietness, roundabout, and nothing is wanting to him. So to that person, God will give you praise and laughter in the name of Jesus. Can you announce to somebody that my season of recovery is here? The Lord asked me that you should tell somebody that my season of recovery is here. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 26 says, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Who are taken captive by him at his will. The way he likes, he puts them under bondage. And Isaiah chapter 13 verse 11 be says. Can we read it together please? Isaiah chapter 13 verse 11. Isaiah 
I want everyone to read it. Can we read it? Verse B of it. Okay, let's read this together. One to go. And I will punish the world for their evil. Uh -huh. And the wicked for their iniquity. Uh -huh. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And we lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. This is the word of God for you. So every haughtiness or anyone that trouble your life, God will sideline them for your sake in the name of Jesus. Let me quickly do this and say this to somebody here. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3 says, Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. And the Lord is saying to that person concerning that fruitfulness. The Lord said to me, you need deep thing. You need deep thing. Job chapter 12 verse 22. Job chapter 12 verse 22 says, He discovered deep things out of darkness and bring it out to light the shadow of death. I declare in the name of Jesus that deep thing that your life need, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. I said to you, I'm here to declare. Can everyone stand up right now? There is something you must get that will trigger you to the place you're supposed to be. There is a testimony you need to share with people. There are people who say, without that testimony, they are unable to get things right. That deep thing that you need to get the best of life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That deep secret that will stand as a pointer to your meaningful life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10 says, But eyes have not seen. Nor ear heard. Neither art enter into the heart of men. The thing which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto his, by his spirit. For the spirit searches of things, yea, the deep things of God. So I pray for you today. Lift up your hands as we close. That deep things that God has for you, that will give you lasting memory. Receive that deep things in the name of Jesus. I said, receive that deep things in the name of Jesus. Amen. That deep things that will make you laugh. That deep things that will give you the everlasting joy. That you will look upon it and begin to laugh and begin to dance. Receive that deep things in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Lord, we declare concerning Nogata on Friday. We pray that your power that you show that will come down. Oh yeah, let it come down. I saw in my retreat a lot of awaiting parents carrying their children. It's like those children we are kept somewhere. And everybody started searching for their own children. And some people are pointing out to it. This is your home. See my home. This is your home. See my home. I pray for that one that will shout out amen. Oh yeah, take your children. Amen. That ordained divine ideas. Oh yeah, take your ideas. Ah. There is a woman here, you are packing that idea for your husband. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let your husband pack that idea in the name of Jesus. Everything that has stopped you before now will not stop you anymore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. Can we shout say hallelujah? One to go. Hallelujah. 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 Say glory. Are you in the house? You have not given your life to Christ? Or you have given your life to him and you break the covenant of that place? I want you to come forward. I want to pray with you. God wants to do something better than you. Come oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, oh, here you are weary, come on, and 
Sweet 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 Sweet